Well, welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of lessons, and this one is all about finding all of those beautiful home sellers that we've been discussing, and also selling these houses after we get an agreement to purchase them. There are several ways that we use in our business right now to find these sellers. And boy, it's a lot easier than it used to be. The number one way, and the most important thing we do right now, is we have our virtual assistants call online ads where they're advertising their home for sale as a FISBO. They search the sites in the areas. In fact, they do this for our clients, you. They, they, you get two counties and they search the, uh, the, the sites in your area and they call all the FISBO ads in your county. Then they fill out the property information sheet that we showed you on the last video and then they send it to me or send it to you. Uh, that right there is a large portion of the deals that we do around my office. So that's number one. However, I wouldn't want you to build your entire business just from that. There are a few things I'd like for you to do. One of those things is run ads yourself. Run your own ads online. Let me show you here on the board here. If you were to run this ad right here on Craigslist and all the other free sites that you can... Let me tell you what to do. Go to Google and put in I buy houses in your city and here will pop up a bunch of websites where you can advertise that you buy houses. These are also the sites that you'll advertise to sell houses on so keep that list. This ad right here will get you plenty of leads that you can send to your VAs or call yourself. I buy houses, full price, fast close, walk away today, your phone and your email or your website. If you don't have a website, we can set one up for you. If you don't have a website, you don't need a website yet. You need a, what you need is a check. You get that first check and we don't worry about that other little stuff. But look at this, full price, fast close. Do not worry about those words full price. Full price is whatever it means to whomever is watching it. It doesn't mean you're going to pay top retail price, but you very well might pay with their asking price. If you look at those three deals that we discussed on the last video, I paid their asking price on all three of them. So I paid them full price. Fast close, well, if I'm buying it, it's going to close fast. If I'm plugging in a buyer, it's still only going to take a few days. So that's a fast close. Walk away today. That's attractive to some people who need to get out of their house. So run that ad. Get you all the leads that you need. All right, there's a few things else I want you to do. You should ride around the neighborhoods where you like to want to work, the beautiful homes in the beautiful neighborhood areas, from where you want to live and above, and look for for sale by owner signs in front of the houses. Here's what you do. You take out your cell phone, you snap a picture of the house with a sign in front of it, make sure the sign is readable, and then you send that to your virtual assistant, or you go home and make the call yourself if you haven't hired a VA yet, and fill out the property information sheet, Read the scripts that I showed you, and now, you're, now you'll know whether you want to go see the house or not. So if you ride around and look for FISBO signs, send them to your VAs, run ads online, have people call you, and then have your VAs searching for ads to call online as well, believe me, you're going to get more leads than you know what to do with. But, just in case you don't, <laughs> we have a magic letter called our yellow letter. You've probably heard about it. We invented it in my office 12 years ago, and this yellow letter gets more response than any piece of, of mail you're ever going to put in the mail. This is to get sellers to call you, and this works every time, anywhere it's used, if it's used correctly. This will get from a 10 to a 30% callback rate if you mail it to homeowners. Now, I'm not going to get into a big old long yellow letter lesson right now, but I will tell you, this hand, addre hand address, it appears to be hand address, it's actually done by a printer. Relax, you're not going to touch this envelope. <laughs> uh, the printer's going to do it for you. We've got you set, uh, set, uh, one set up to do all the work for you. All you got to do is tell them how many you want to mail and to whom, and they'll even help you get the list to mail to. Look, it's a yellow letter. It looks handwritten on a yellow piece of paper, which is why we call it the yellow letter. And I promise you, when we drop these in the mail, the phone rings off the hook. Don't worry, you're not going to answer the phone either. We have a 24-hour answering service to take these calls for you get a little bit of information, then you forward it to your VA, they fill out the property information sheets and send them to you. Remember that autopilot thing we discussed in lesson one? The last thing I want to see you do is get involved in any of this grunt work that we're talking about. Let's do a recap. VAs get ads, 
our, our, get, our call ads, you get ads to call you, you do yellow letters and FISBO signs. That's all you need to do. In fact, don't mail the yellow letters until you've done the other three because you're probably going to get all the leads you can handle without spending the money to put those letters in the mail. Alright? Now we talked about pre-screening them. I'm going to sit down here, Elliot, if you don't mind. We talked about pre-screening them uh, on the last video, but I'll cover it again here briefly. Now if you remember, we are only looking for sellers who will give us terms. Terms was described as sell us the house for what you owe, lease option it to us, or sell with owner financing. If they won't do any of those three, we're not going to the house and we don't need to worry about the next step. We set them aside and work with the ones who say yes. We got to deal with the prospects and eliminate the suspects. You know that same thing applies to any business. Most business owners spend 80% of their time on, on, and resources on wasted suspects that are never going to buy their product or service. Narrow down the people who want to do business with you and focus on those. And when you do, you'll find your business will change dramatically. Okay, so let's catch up. VAs generate a lead. We have called the lead. We've read the script. We've determined we like the answers. And now we've read the appointment script and we made an appointment. Now we got to go to the house. All right, when we get to the house, our objective is to get an agreement signed and make sure everybody's clear on the discussion. So we go to the house, we knock on the door, we look around, and probably my first question is, do you have any questions? And then I sit there and answer their questions. All right, are we ready to get an agreement done? And that's when you pull out an agreement. Here's some good news for you. <laughs> There's only two different agreements that you're going to need to buy or control someone's house. And look how large they are. They're huge. Hey. This is a lease option agreement. It's on one page, front and back. Relax, I'm going to tell you where to get that here just in a second. Front and back, one page. Pretty simple, hey? Eh? You could read this in about 20 minutes and understand everything in it. It's in layman's terms. You can control a $100,000 house or a million dollar house with this one piece of paper right here. This is a lease with an option to buy. The only other agreement you're going to need when you go into the seller's house is a purchase and sale agreement. So if I'm buying it, with owner financing, or I'm taking over the debt, or, or I'm paying cash, then this is the agreement I would use. Purchase and sale. It's a standard purchase and sale agreement. Front, back, done. Very simple agreements. So I'm going to go show you where you can get these agreements right now. Now, of course, i got to tell you, no matter what agreement you pull off of somebody's website or out of their book, you need to take it to your attorney, let your attorney check the agreement, and see if he wants to change anything because you might want to, you're probably going to have some additional things your attorney's going to want to get you signed at the time, and that varies with every single state. But these right here are all you need to bind, uh, to, to tie up that property, to either lease it with an option to buy or to purchase it, whichever situation the information from the seller dictates. So we're going to go to back to my screen now, and I'll show you where you can get these agreements. All right, well, here we are. Back to our Gold Club site. You remember that dollar deal you were supposed to go take that I've been harassing you about? If you haven't gone to ronsdollardeal.com, go get that dollar offer, and that'll give you a free 30-day trial to the Gold Club, which is just loaded with benefits, which I'm not going to cover now. I'm going to trust that you will get on the Gold Club and do all of that yourself. Plus, once you're a member, once you sign up, we're going to send you a package in the mail that tells you all the benefits. But I want to show you a couple of them because these are critical to your success right here. Elliot, if you will go, this site has got so much stuff on it, I can't even begin to tell you all, everything that's on it. But let's start right here where it says training. My friends, there is over 200 training videos on this site alone. By the way, the Gold Club is a measly $59 a month. To be fair, if uh, you don't want to spend $59 a month, this probably isn't the business for you because this is the best bargain in real estate right here. Let's go to, I don't know, weekly lesson videos perhaps. There's 112 of them right there. Because one of the things you get as a Gold Club member is a weekly, online, every Friday, uh, lesson video, questions answered, and a whole bunch of other things you get in your uh, Friday uh, online newsletter. Uh, right here are just a mountain of uh, videos, and I'm showing you this because you ought to take time to go down here. You've got a subject you want an answer on, it's right here. Here's the forms and agreements from uh, all of the, uh, all of the uh, documents that are in my Control Without Ownership course which includes lease options, options, and sandwich lease options. Uh, I mean, acts, sandwich lease options, and options. Um, 
If you will take a look at all the list of the agreements down at the bottom, scroll it on up if you will to the bottom, you'll find the agreement that I just showed you. Here's your standard purchase and sale agreement right here. Don't print it up. You can pop that up and you can fill it in. You can uh, print it out blank or you can fill it in and email it to your attorney. And then go back down. And above it, here's, here is the, here is the, proper, here's the uh, lease option agreement that I showed you as well. They're all right there, so you can go there and use them when you're ready. And they're always going to be there as long as you remember. In the, the weekly lesson videos here, uh, lesson number 16, 52, and 91, write those down. Lesson 16, 52, and 91 will literally take you through the agreements that you need to fill out to go into the seller's house. So if you'll write that down and take time to come back here and go through them, I think that's all we need to do with this site right now. Uh, guys, get on this site, explore, take some time with this thing because this is an absolute gold mine of information for real estate investors. All right, well, we've got all the way down to get an agreement signed by the seller. That's either going to be a lease option agreement or a purchase and sale agreement. One of the two, that's all there is. Now, the next step is to have a title search done. That's a call to a title company to check to see if we got any issues. And then we get the thing ready to put on the market. First thing we need to do to put a house on the market is to have a flyer created with a picture of the house and the facts on it. You've seen them. And in fact, if you go to postlets.com, uh, right there's a very simple format to create that flyer. Postlets.com. If you are using our virtual assistants, they will do it for you. Once the flyer is created, that's also the flyer that will go on your website if you have one. If you don't, we will create one for you. And I mean, actually, we can create all the tools you need for you. But for right now, the buyers that are coming to this to, to your ads have got to go somewhere, so you've got to give them a place to go. So you direct them to that flyer where they get the information on the house. And that's also where you'll capture their contact information as well. All right, we got the flyer built. Now we got to get people to come to the flyer, or the flyer is useless. So just run ads. This is my favorite ad right here. Rent to own, no bank qualifying. I always like to put the area of town, this one says Manor, and that's where we're standing right now. Three bedroom, two bath pool. Bedrooms and baths is pretty important. And if there's any amenities like a pool, you want to stick that in there. Of course, your ads are all going to be different, but they need to have the same ingredients. Look, no bank qualifying and rent to own are your unique selling propositions. If you were selling it with owner financing, it would say owner financing, no bank qualifying. Area, bedrooms, baths, pool, and then of course the phone number and the email address or the site. If you have a site, you'll drive them to the site. If you don't, you'll drive them to your email address where they can get information from you or get you to call them. Uh, and now I want to tell you what's going to happen if you get their phone number once you get automated. Until you get automated, guess who they're going to call? They're either going to call you or a voicemail box and you're going to get an awful lot of calls from potential buyers when you run these words. Remember, 80% of the marketplace can't qualify for a loan. I've set myself up to buy or control with terms so that I can exit with terms. If you want to make a house easy to sell, make it easy to buy. It's not a matter of whether you'll sell it or not. The demand is a hundred times bigger than the supply. Now it becomes a game of picking the low hanging fruit and finding the people with the largest amount of dollars that you can think can afford the monthly payment because there's a huge, huge market out there waiting for you to bring them a house you can get into with terms. So when I run this ad, here they come. The second thing I'll do is put out signs. We've got them in all shapes and sizes. Here's one that we use. It says for sale, lease purchase, phone number, and Eagle Home Buyers is the name of our company. I'll tell you the truth, that's my least favorite sign right there. Here's my best favorite signs. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Looks like my granddaughter wrote it. And that's exactly the way it should look. Lease purchase, St. John's Forest, phone number, four bedroom, three bath. In fact, the uglier the sign, the better it pulls. My friends, I don't want to get into this in great detail right now, but I'll tell you right now, this sign, or this sign, will pull two to three times more than that pretty yellow sign right there. The uglier the sign, the better they pull. I've proven that over the years. So we handwrite our signs, but we never leave off the unique selling proposition. No bank qualified. That's what brings them in by the thunderous herds. So, look at this one. Same on both sides. So we stick it out there and they can see it from both directions. You put it on those little wiry things you get down at Home Depot or, or Lowe's. So we put out signs and we run ads. 
That's all we need to do to sell houses. Now we better figure out, okay, where are they going to call when they call? So we're going to do that next. Well, before you now, you see a simple flowchart that I've created, which actually shows you the progress or the progression of a buyer when they call. Now keep in mind, you're going to get an awful lot of people that are not going to buy your house. You're going to get people calling with little or no money, depending on the price range of the house you're selling. And of course, most of the people that call you from a no qualifying ad are going to be no qualifying. They usually got credit problems or some other issue keeping them from getting a loan. So now you've got to decide, what am I going to do with these calls so that they don't run, ruin my life? Because if, in fact, you're not careful, that's exactly what will happen. You'll hate to hear the phone ring. You'll start getting nauseous when the phone rings. So we've set up an automated system to do all this for you, depending on how you want to run your business. If you'll take a look at the upper left-hand corner of this chart, you'll see a little block that says IVR, which stands for Interactive Voice Response, which is really a, 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 a voicemail system. The same kind of system you get when you call any big company or a bank. You don't get a human, you get a voicemail. But it's not a normal voicemail. It asks a question, waits for an answer. Asks the next question, waits for an answer. And that's exactly what you need done so that you not only take calls from your buyers, but you collect the information you need from your buyers to put them on your buyers list to determine who to contact next when you get the next house under contract. You see, friends, it's all about building a buyers list and then finding houses to, to sell the buyers list. Instead of having to find a buyer every time you get a house, now let's find houses for buyers. Totally change your business. So, in the case of an IVR, the calls come in 24 hours a day, automatically. If we set up your system, you just, you'll get several phone numbers and you'll need one for each campaign, but now somebody's got to take the information off the IVR and uh, put it into your system. If you don't have a system, we'll set you up with a system, complete with the IVR, with the voice already recorded, and with the database to put all the information in. And, of course, one of the questions that we always want to know from our callers is, how much money do you have to put down? So that question is asked. What kind of a monthly payment can you afford? What side of town you want to live in? When do you want to move? And so forth and so on. So by the time that caller gets off the telephone, you've got everything you need to know to determine whether you want to call them back or not. Now let me guess, who are you going to call back? I know, the folks with the most money. So when somebody calls you with twenty, thirty thousand dollars or whatever, that's when you get back on the telephone and collect any other information you want and send them to the houses and try to get them to a conclusion. So if you look at your chart, you'll see that you or your VA must call them back if they're worthy. If they call you up and they tell you they got five hundred dollars down, uh, honestly, they're not going on my buyer's list because there's really nothing I can do for them. So very simply. Drive the calls in with the ads and the signs I just showed you. Let the system take the calls, record the information. Have someone take the information off, stick it in your database. Call back the ones with the money. And then keep your database so that when the, on the next deals you get, you can also uh, call them back and pick out the best folks for the job. Now, there's a lot more things I could plug into that system, but I am not going to do it on this video. Now, if you take a look over there at the right, you'll see that some of your leads are going to come online. Remember, if you're going to Craigslist and running an ad, they're likely going to go by email to wherever you directed them, either to your postlets or Craigslist flyer or to your site or both. So now what? Well, once they get there, if your site is set up correctly, it'll ask for the same information that our IVR asks for. Then you'll know how much they have down, how much they want to pay per month, and so forth. So now it's just a matter of somebody responding to them and uh, following up. Now, of course, when your site is set up to sell houses, all your houses will be right there on it so they can guide themselves right to your houses and see everything they need to see and then make contact with you. This, simple, this system has changed an awful lot of lives because all of the work that we used to do in the business is no longer there. The automation has taken it all away so now all we have to do is make sure the phone rings and then follow up with the best quality prospects. So now you ask, okay, Ron, what are the best prospects? And the answer is, ye who have most money go to the top of the list. So if I got a $200,000 house 
and somebody calls me with a $20,000 uh, down payment, they're going to the top of the list. If they call me with a $2,000 down payment, they're not even going to make the list. You'll be surprised at how much money people are running around with that cannot qualify for loans. Don't ever put the down payment or the monthly payment in any of your advertising because you don't know what it is yet. Never do that. When they call, how much do I need down is their question and your answer is, what's the most you can put down if I put you in this house? And then write down that number. Or what's the, what's the most you can pay per month? And you write down that number. Ye who speak first have big tennis shoe in thy mouth. Don't ever tell anybody what you'll take until you find out what they're willing to pay. You know what you'll find out? You'll find out that quite often they got more than you're willing to accept if you let them talk. So that's exactly what we do. They call it, how much you got to put down? Put it on there. It's already right on your IDR if they're calling, but even if they go to your site, you collect the same exact information. So now it's up to you. The system has brought them in. The system has screened them. Now a human has got to call them up, or the ones with the money that is, and direct them to the house and follow up. Your house should already be on a website showing the pictures of the house and the description of it. If you don't have one, we'll set one up for you. You'll be up and running in two weeks and have a website and the whole system to do everything that we just said or said as part of your virtual assistant service. Okay? So now what? I got somebody to call in, I like their I like their dollar amount. But now it's time for you to get on the telephone. This is where you come in now and follow up and meet them after they've seen the house, not before, after they've seen the house. But before you meet them, I want you to go to ScreenTheTenant.com. ScreenTheTenant.com. My friend Paul Ritter, who is in the credit cleaning service business, will, will, will do a tremendous service for you. And he'll create a whole package on them, which will include their credit report, their um, uh, criminal, criminal background search, their uh, debt to income ratio, and their uh, Megan's Law okay, to make sure that they're not a convicted child molester. All of that put in this great package for 50 measly dollars. He'll send you that package and you'll immediately know whether you want them or not. So when you get that package back, now you know you want them. Now it's time to meet them, get a deposit, come to terms on all the uh, numbers, and then you simply set it up to close with your attorney the next day or the day after. You're going to close with your attorney, whether it's a lease option or whether it's owner financing. Either way, it's a very quick deal. There's no banks in the middle. There's no committees. I am the committee. I'm the only one that decides whether I want this tenant buyer or, or uh, owner financing buyer or not. And I'm going to tell you again, the biggest decision, the biggest part of my decision is going to be how much money they got. Guys, you're going to be really impressed with how much money they have, even on the small houses. I have collected 10, or not 10, uh, 20, 25, $30,000 even on houses, $150,000, $175,000. When we start getting you up into the really multi-hundred thousand dollar houses, you're going to be blown away with the down payments and deposits that people have. So now, here we are. We get a deposit from them. The smallest deposit that I will take is $2,500 from a tenant buyer uh, or a buyer. Set it up for closing. And now, uh, buyer leaves. Buyer knows where and when. We simply sit down, fill in the blanks on the agreement on the site that I just showed you, email them to our attorney, and voila, we're done. The attorney gets all the paperwork done, but we haven't already supplied them. They go meet the attorney. They explain the whole thing again. They sign off on it. The attorney produces whatever documents the attorney feels we should have in the file, plus documents that I insist that the attorney get in that file. And by the time they leave, everything's crystal clear and in writing, so we don't have any comebacks later. And by the way, I didn't tell you, when I put a tenant buyer in the house, anytime I put a tenant buyer in the house, they are always responsible for 100% of the repairs after the first 30 days of occupancy. I've had tenant buyers for 10 years or more, and I've not done one lick of work on the house in the whole time. So, um, listen, I've been around for 32 years now, over 3,000 houses. I know how to do this. I know how to do it right. I know how to make the biggest money, the fastest, and the easiest, and keep you out of trouble along the way if you'll let me. All right, uh, that's the end of these three lessons, but before we go, Number one, let me point out some, some uh, sites for you. You might want to uh, click on these and do a screensaver on them. Number one is ronsdollardeal.com. You should have already been there. If you haven't, I don't know what the heck you're waiting on. ronsfreebook.com. That's where you get my book. Uh, this is my book. Listen, this is a great book. This is a seminar and a book. You might as well go get it while it's free. You can download the whole thing for free on ronsfreebook.com. 
It's called How to Be a Quick Term Real Estate Millionaire in a Bad Economy. And it's got a good looking dude on the front cover there. And then if you're interested in virtual assistance, go to eaglevirtualassistance.com. You'll learn all about our virtual assistant company and what it costs and the services they can do for you. And of course, you can always call our office if you need assistance on that. And our number is all over all these sites. And then screenthetenant.com I just gave you. Uh, my friend Paul Ritter will not only provide that front-end service, but he's also great at cleaning credit. He, I've seen him get credit scores up 100 points in seven months. So if your tenant buyer needs somebody to help them to get to the point where they can finance, of course, this is where you want to turn them on. Very inexpensive cost that he charges as well. So with that said, i got one more thing I want you to do, and then we're going to be through with these three lessons. No, you'll hear some more for me. I'm going to get you some more lessons, but... Um, I'm, I'm going to surprise you with them. Alright, listen. I want you to do yourself a favor and go to the site below and pick up this course because this is the only other course you need to do what we're talking about. This is called Control Without Ownership. I asked you yesterday on your last video to go get this Pretty House course which is uh, the uh, second opportunity you get out of Ron's Dollar Deal. On Ron's dollar deal, you were offered first the wholesale course and the uh, work for equity course, both for $197 shipped to you. I still can't believe we're selling them that cheap. And then if you hung on a little longer, you got a chance to go get the Pretty House course for 80% off. There's a link below that'll let you go right to there and get them without going through the dollar deal stuff again, especially if you're already a Go Club member. If you've already been through the dollar offer, just take the link below and go right and get this thing really while well, it's dirt cheap. The Pretty House course actually is everything you need to know about the yellow letter system, uh, taking over houses, taking over the debt, owner financing, It's the, uh, the uh, everything is in here, uh, forms, flyers, agreements, literally there's 20 CDs in this course alone. There's 20 CDs in this course alone. All together is about 35 CDs, actually closer to 40 CDs in those three courses, which I gave you for not much more than it cost to actually create the materials. I warn you again though, that site is going to come down pretty quick, so if you don't take me up on those offers now, you're not going to get another chance. Here's one, brand, brand new, hot off the press, it's called Control Without Ownership. Uh, the link to it is below, and I'm offering this to you for half price, so go down there and check it out right now. This is an all day, two day seminar on lease options, options, and sandwich lease options. This is my axe course. This is probably 80% of everything we do right now is in this 11 CD system. You can get the whole thing shipped to you. Uh, in fact, the only way you can get this course is to have it shipped to you, and it's half price. So go down to the link and get on that right now. Now, the last thing before you go, I'm going to give you an opportunity that I've reserved for new folk coming in. If uh, you like what you've seen so far, and you think we can be of service to you, then we have what we call a planning session. Somewhere up here, here it is. Ronsplanningsession.com. If you will write that, you'll find the link down below. And here's what that means. It means if you'll go to that link down below, and there's a letter there telling you what the planning sessions are all about, and then there's an application after it. If you'll fill that out and submit it to us, we literally will spend 30 to 45 minutes on the phone with you going over your plan based on the answers you put on that sheet. Now listen, this is not a sales call. In fact, we are not even going to bring up any of our product or services unless you ask us to. So first we need your application. We need to know you have interest for us to spend 30 to 45 minutes with you. It'll tell us where you're at and where you want to go. It'll ask you what your first year monetary goal is. And then we will spend the time figuring out how you're going to get there. What do you have to work with? What are you missing? Uh, how far do you want to go? How fast do you want to get there? And we'll break that down into little pieces for you and turn it into a, an action plan in our time together. Cost you absolutely nothing simply because you're watching these three videos. In fact, I wouldn't even have offered it to you if you hadn't gotten this far. Because if you quit watching before now, we absolutely don't want to spend 30 to 45 minutes with you. So you're pre-screened. You've made it. You passed the test. So go down below and get on this and here's what's going to happen. When you submit your application, somebody from our office is going to call you and set up an appointment for this planning session based on your schedule and ours. After that appointment is set up, we're going to send you the information on what we have to offer you 
so that if you do want to bring it up at the end of our planning session, and I'll say it again, no one will mention anything we have unless you bring it up. If you don't bring it up, it will not even be discussed. But in order for you to know what is available to you, we will send that information to you immediately upon uh, you getting your application in, and you'll quickly see how we can get you to the next level quickly. And in fact, I have a four-day training event, which is our basic training that I personally teach called Quick Start School. That is what's made millionaires all over this country and have been doing so for years and years and years. Um, th this is your basic training. Now we even have that virtually so one can sit home and take that training if they can't spend four days with me live. We do one every month somewhere in the country. Uh, of these, of course, you can get on this immediately. In fact, you can get on this immediately by waiting to get to that. We also have personal mentoring. We find that our students need somebody to take them by the hand and lead them step by step to get checks after, of course, we've had some training. And uh, I'm telling you, 80% of the people we put in that program get checks while they're in it. That's a six-month program right there, where you literally get a one-on-one -on -one mentor who's doing the business day in and day out. And we have an annual convention every year as well, which is our family reunion. We usually have about 1,000 people in that thing, and we'll send you the information on that as well. So listen, you call in, get on the planning session, We'll do your planning session, and then if you want to hear about that, just tell us. In the meantime, we'll send the information to you along the way, so you'll have it all in front of you. So, uh, boy, I hope this has been of value to you. I spent an awful lot of years qualifying to teach this information. We do this, inf we do this business day in and day out, and i got students all over, countries I can't even pronounce, doing the same thing. Probably worth your while to take a little bit of time to investigate it. I certainly appreciate you even entering Planet Ron. You did that probably when you ordered something free. I hope you've been on the uh, dollar deal now and downloaded all of that information while you still can. And take time to explore the Gold Club site. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.